Uh, speaking of members of Congress, let me bring on Ted Deutsch. He is the member of Congress that represents this part of Broward County, Congressman Ted Deutsch. So, Congressman, what have you learned since, uh, what more new information do you think you have that you can share? Uh, well, I'm not, thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, what the latest information is that you have. We know that, that this is uh, just, uh, just the, the worst, uh, it's the worst day in, in Parkland. Uh, Tell me, let me stop you there. Describe yeah. Parkland yeah. for our viewers yeah, yeah. that don't know yeah, Broward I, County, don't know West, don't know the western part of Broward sure. or, or Dade. Yeah, this is um, I, I, this is a beautiful, it's an idyllic community, Chuck. This is a, uh, it's a wonderful community. Douglas High School uh, is one of the best high schools in the state of Florida. Uh, I visit often. I was there just a, a few weeks ago talking to students. The kids are remarkable. The teachers are dedicated and committed. The parents are involved in the schools. This is, I mean, if you, if you had to describe just a perfect place to live and raise a family, this would be it. And, and yet, here we are talking about a, shul, a, a school, a, another school shooting right in the midst of all of this. Um, this, is, this is one of those moments where when you watch the, the footage of kids running out of the school with their hands up and police and first responders going in with their guns to try to secure the school, and you think, boy, we've seen these images just so regularly um, you realize that indeed this can happen everywhere, but the fact is it shouldn't have to happen in your own community for you right. to care about it. It does seem as if that that's when people focus on it, when it touches them. Um, and, and I get, we all get that. What do you, th I mean, look, as you know, Sandy Hook is about as tragic as it gets in one of these things. The Las yeah. Vegas shooting, the worst massacre we've ever seen. Um, and it didn't seem to budge Congress at all. There didn't even seem to be a desire to even start a commission to think about solutions. Right. Look, I, I've been, I, I've devoted an enormous amount of my time here in Congress trying to do something to stem the tide of gun violence. But let, let's make, here's a suggestion, Chuck. Instead of letting this devolve into the typical political, political discussion with people tweeting at me telling me now is not the time <laughs> to have conversations about, about gun safety and others saying stop uh, trying to interfere with the Second Amendment, my Second mm -hmm. Amendment rights, and others saying it's about mental health issues, why aren't we talking about that? Let's talk about all of it, and let's right. do it in a way that's not political. Let's forget about commissions. Do you the think that's possible? Should... Do you think that's possible anymore to do anything that doesn't get politicized? I, look, I, I, I can't believe that, that Congress hasn't done anything since Sandy Hook. I can't believe it. But the fact is, um, for everyone has an excuse, but everyone also acknowledges that days like today are awful. And this is a terrible, terrible day. It is so grim. And the story, the people that I talk to, the families that I've spoken with back in the district, the sheriff, the superintendent, the mayor, this is as bad as it gets. So I agree. Let's not politicize it. But let's let's sit down and have the conversation. If you think it's about mental health, then let's figure out how to address that. If you think that there are steps that we can take, common sense measures that won't inter in interfere with anyone's Second Amendment rights, then let's talk about that. But by all means, let's just not let this go. I mean, I, I, we're going to have a moment of silence because that's what we do here. That's what we do, and we're going and we do it all the time. But at this point. Uh, we've got to follow up with something no one should feel. It shouldn't take every member of Congress to feel the way that I feel right now for us to commit ourselves to do something about this. It's not political. The, these, are, these are some of the best kids in the country. And what they went through today is unspeakable. And it's awful. And we've got to do something about it.